Mama's Spinach. This is Shoko. Hello everyone, welcome to Mama Roots Kitchen. So it's a farm to table recipe kind of video. And today we are going to be making a for Riro. This is a Nigerian traditional dish or soup as they call it that is made with uh, shoko. Shoko is Lagos spinach. I have shown you on this channel how I cultivated that Lagos spinach. I harvested it and now it's time to actually cook and enjoy it to take our health to the next level. So this is my first time growing shoko and it is also my first time cooking a four riro which is the soup made out of shoko leaves. And so I am going to share with you my interpretation, my recipe. Don't judge me too much, oh my Niger peeps. I just, they try you. Oh. All right. So I already harvested the shoko leaves and blanched it. What I did was harvested the leaves, pick, well, harvested the vegetables, pick the leaves from the stem, chopped it up into really huge pieces, like just chopped or cut. And then I boiled some water. I poured it over the cut vegetables in the sink so that it is blanched and it is not too soft. So here is the Lagos spinach or the shoko leaves blanched. And then we are also going to need some proteins. I have seen my Niger peeps use things like goat meat, a bunch of fish, pomo, which is cow skin. The fish is smoked fish. Um, and then a whole bunch of proteins, you know, it has to have like those obstacles in there. Me, this is what I have and that's what I'm going to use. Don't judge me. I have smoked fish. I have some pomo cut into little sizes. And then I also have some beef. This is smoked brisket. We did barbecue. I saved the brisket. It's smoked. It does not have barbecue sauce on it. So that's my protein. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of crayfish. This is sh shrimp, dried shrimp, dehydrated shrimp to mine and then we need to make like a stew base it's made out of tomatoes onions red bell peppers which is called tatashe in nigeria i'm also growing peppers red bell peppers in the garden i'm going to add habanero i'm growing a lot of peppers and then tomatoes i'm growing tomatoes too so this could all come from the garden um, just this is from my garden. The rest I bought from the store, but hopefully eventually I will be able to harvest everything. And then onions. Guess where the onion came from? My garden. I'm going to use this from my garden. Okay. And then salt and also the oil that they use is palm oil. Palm oil is very healthy. Oil. Okay. So now we have everything. The, what I'm going to do next is cut this giant onion, just the base, and then add to this, blend it, and then just cook it down without any oil. Once it cooks down, I will show you the next steps. Farm to table or garden to table simply means that what was once a seed in the garden is now dinner on the table, and that captures the essence of why we grow our own vegetables in the backyard. Okay, so I'm gonna go blend this. I'm gonna blend it on low so that it is not very fine, just on very low speed in my Vitamix over there. The reason why I'm sharing this video with you is to inspire you to grow your own garden. If you would like to grow this very fast growing vegetable, it goes from seeds to maturity in about a month. You can find links to buy the seeds in the description box below. They are super easy to grow and super nutritious. We're going to cook this down. Our tomatoes is all cooked down now. As you can see, it's pretty dry. 
so we're going to set that aside and then now we're going to start working on our a four re-row so we need a pot like this one we're going to pour some of that palm oil maybe about a quarter of a cup i don't know i don't want it too oily and then next i'm going to add the tomato mix Come in here with my obstacles, our protein. You can find these ingredients in African grocery stores around you. Uh, this is looking too dry. I'm going to add a little water. I don't know. And now I'm gonna crush our janga crayfish powdered shrimp. This is more protein and more flavor. Now, if you don't have all of that stuff in there, you can use smoked turkey, you know, beef, whatever protein suits your choice. African cooking, we don't really have recipes. We just have methods and everyone is free to interpret the recipe according to their own needs and what they have. Today, this is how I'm cooking my A4 Rero. Another day, it might be different, just based on what I have available. Looking way too dry for me. I'm gonna add that water there. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Cameroon pepper flavor. This is smoked habanero peppers. If you need some, let me know. I have some available at my online African supply store. Mama Root has Cameroon pepper available. I also have palm oil and crayfish. And this video is sponsored by Mama Root. I see. I'm gonna add a little salt. You add salt according to your taste. If you like, you can add seasoning cubes. If you want it a little healthier, skip the seasoning cubes. That is why we use njanga or the crayfish and the meat. It's still going to taste fine. I'm adding my vegetables if it's looking dry feel free to add water or stock I don't have stock if I had stock i would add it Still looking dry. <laughs> I'm gonna add more water. Okay. I think we are good to go now. So 
So what is Iru, my Nigerian people? Let me know how Iru tastes like. I'm kind of scared. I'm pretty sure it might be something that I have in this kitchen because I have all the spices. Probably we call it something different in Cameroon, but what is another name for Iru? If you know what it is, let me know. This recipe is loosely based on what I saw on CCME's YouTube channel. So you CCME, we are watching this pardon me, it was my first time cooking a four vivo. And I'm going to eat mine with quinoa. I'm not eating it with no eba or amala. Or swallow. I'm trying to keep the healthier version of it. Let's taste this. Make we taste them. Make we taste them. Oh, this is how we taste stuff. We just taste and adjust. We usually put it right here and then put it in our mouth. Mm. Not bad, though. It's not bad, though. Probably need some more salt. I'm going to add some more crayfish. Back home when we cook greens, because this tastes like greens. It smells like amaranth. It's not it's not very different from amaranth. I just know that we used to put a lot of njanga in our greens back home. So let me add some of that crayfish. African cooking, really, it's a matter of taste. You just taste and adjust, and adjust the taste and seasoning as you go. It's a foriro, a foriro soup. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know why everything is soup. Our soups are not watery like that. It just means whatever that you used to eat your swallow with. Swallow is usually some kind of fufu. Something that normally you would not chew. Some kind of dough made out of either cassava, fermented cassava or pounded something like pounded yams. I'm talking about the Dios Korea type of yam or plantain, something like that. So that will be your swallow. But it is very high in starch, and so I'm trying to keep it healthy. We don't want this to overcook. Let me taste it again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's more like it. Let me put a little bit more salt. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, farm to table. This is not food. This is food. And they say people should go to the garden. You don't want to listen. This is me. I have now have a meal. I think that's ready. and this is our final product it is time to taste our creation a four rero served with quinoa quinoa is a grain that is also rich in protein this is so healthy i hope you consider growing lego spinach links for the seeds are in the description box they are not hard to grow at all grow a garden so you can grow health until next time bye bye